This video is about how to add a tiny MCE editor to Django admin panel to get this result. Let's install Django and the tiny MCE plugin. Pip install Django, Django tiny MCE. Then let's create a new project, block PR, for example. Let's change the directory into the block PR folder. And let's apply migrations. Now let's create a new app, posts, for example. Now I want to add the posts app to the installed apps list in the settings py file. And then I want to create the templates folder. And now in the settings py file I have to append the templates there's list with the my templates folder. Then let's create a new route for my posts app. In the root URL spy file, I am appending a new path to the URL patterns list. Then, in the posts folder, I am creating a new URL spy file, and inside it, I have to define a new route too. Now I have to define the index function and it will just render the index HTML template. Now let's create the index HTML template in the templates directory. Here I want to use the bootstrap CSS. I need the getbootstrap.com and uh, let's use the CDN. I want to copy this link to my file. Okay, let's define the basic layout of the page. Let's expand it. And now let's test the app. Ok, it's working because we can see that it uses Bootstrap CSS styles. Then I need a modal. In the modal spy file I want to create the post modal. It will have a title and a text. Now I have to make migrations and apply them. Then I want to add it to the Django admin dashboard. So, in the admin py file, let's import the post modal and register it. Now let's create a super user. Let's get into the admin panel. Ok, and I think it's time to add the TinyMCE plugin. First of all, I want to add the TinyMCE app to the installed apps list. Ok, and then again I need a new route. In the root URL spy file I'm creating a new route. And the last thing I have to do is to change a bit my post model. I have to import the models from the TinyMCE model and I want to save it to the TinyMCE models variable. And the text fields of the post class will be an instance of the HTML field class. And again, let's make migrations and apply them. Let's test it. And we can see that we got the TinyMC plugin here. 
Let's create a post. My first post, for example. And I want to use the lorem ipsum here. Let's change its formatting as you like. And now I want to change the index view. I want to get all posts from my database. And then I want to render them in the index.html template. Then let's open the index.html file and uh, I want to render the posts list here. I need a for loop. I need a title. And I want to render here the post text. Now let's test it. Let's look at the page. Okay, it's working. So if you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.